Public Services Committee. Congressman, why did you vote against it? Well, Neil, it's quite simply this. The American people said no. The American people said no. They do not like the Paulson bailout when it was announced. The American people said no when the Paulson bailout was as the, formed the basis of negotiations for House and Senate Republicans and Democrats. The American people said no, despite how much gloom and doom and uncertainty was thrown at them. They said we do not like the fundamental concept of buying toxic assets out of the market with public money. And instead of honoring the will of the people early on, this Congress and this President spread gloom and doom and decided they were going to set artificial deadlines to meet. And when you set artificial deadlines in a time of crisis, one of two things happens. You pass a bad product that does not become law, or you pass a bad product that does become law. Well, Ironically, you know what they said, those same, the least of situations. Those same con uh, uh, regulators, congressmen, have said they would be hell to pay if you don't, and they're saying this is just a tee-up for that hell to come. What do you say? My argument is Congress now has time to act prudently and responsibly to come up with appropriate legislation to deal with the crisis. Throughout this entire situation, when the media elite lost their minds, when the Wall Street crowd and the Washington crowd ran around panicking, the American people sat down, looked at the stakes, understood them, and said, we know something has to be done, but not this. This is why I believe it is time for President Bush to ask for Secretary of the Treasury Paulson's resignation. They seem to be, continue to be married to the idea of the toxic asset that's being removed with public money. There are other models out there, many of which can be utilized. We should bring in someone as the president's deputized negotiator but, but, that has the way, credibility I'm, with markets, Congress, with, I markets ask you, with Congress, I, and with the American people, and we can get all right, this done. I apologize, sir, but we're running out of time here. Are you Sorry. saying that better no deal, even a, a, a negotiated deal, than this deal? That's what you would live with? No, that is not what I'm saying. Congress understands there's economic difficulty and uncertainty out there. We understand that we have to act within a reasonable time to come up with a responsible product. What has happened is the people who pushed this plan dismissed the will of the American people, and now they are suffering the consequences. And we should spare the American people this by picking up the ball and starting to get back to work with the due diligence it is to require. Gotcha. Congressman, thank you very much. Thank you, Nick. All right. Uh